How to YouTube today, we're taking a look at the WWE Jax Classic Superstars, The Legion of Doom, Animal, Hawk, The Road Warriors. One of the all-time great tag teams in wrestling history, no question. Uh, certainly one of my favourites, uh, being obviously in Australia, big fan of Mad Max, uh, particularly the second one, uh, and... The fact that the gimmick was actually based uh, from the movie uh, is something that I thought was really, really cool uh, upon finding that out. Really love these figures. Mattel have actually just released their own uh, version of these guys in the blue. Um, I was going to pick them up and review them for you guys, but after taking a look at them, they seemed a little bit cheap to me. Just the, the shoulder pad detail didn't look as nice as the jacks, um, and I just, just wasn't a fan of the look. I, I really prefer... Mattel figures overall, but having said that, there are some really good exceptions where Jack's absolutely nailed it, and, and this is one of those times. Comes in the classic superstar packaging, you can see at the top there, uh, really big, bulky uh, Jack style packaging, similar, I guess, now to the defining moments type uh, packaging that we get from Mattel. Uh, back in the days, obviously, with Jack's, where they would have a figure line just dedicated to. Uh, classic superstars. Mattel now tend to release one or two um, every now and then in their wave of figures and have them as uh, WrestleMania heritage type figures. But um, yeah, really interesting. Looks like uh, a nice bit of detail on the shoulder pads and also I love that it comes with the tag belts. Road Warriors here or the Legion of Doom. Uh, basically their appearance from either WCW, uh, where I know they wore blue a few times, or um, early WWF where the color was blue before they switched it to the, the Roy's War uh, red there. So let's get these guys opened up and out of packaging. Before I do, just a quick look at the side of the packaging. Nice shot of the figures there. Obviously, we've got Hawk and Animal on the side. Really cool um, designs for these guys. Love the face paint and everything. Um, not always a fan of figures with an, an open mouth, but uh, we'll see how we go with the Hawk figure. Now, the back of the packaging is pretty much identical. The only difference, obviously, is in the stats for Hawk and Animal. Uh, pretty much, uh, it's interesting that Animal debuted before Hawk did. Um, I wasn't aware of that. I thought they, they debuted at the same time as a tag team. Um, Hawk, slightly taller. Uh, Animal, quite a bit heavier. Obviously, signature move, the Doomsday Device, a great move. They were both uh, tag team champions. It would have been nice if they had on the back there, I suppose... Um, uh, WWF don't like promoting the competition, but uh, you know they were the AWA, the NWA, the WCW, the WWF, the WWE Tag Team Champions. They won every tag title in existence, something that will probably never happen again uh, in wrestling history. So a really significant team. Other figures in the set, of course, uh, there's some hits, there's some misses. Uh, don't know if you can see at the bottom there, Andre the Giant, Earthquake, really nice figures. Uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan as well. Shawn Michaels, uh, not a, a big fan of the Jacks. Uh, Shawn Michaels, this particular one that is. Um, Doink the Clown, never a fan of him. Um, but let's get the Legion of Doom opened up. Okay, and here we have the Legion of Doom opened up and out of packaging. Both really nice looking figures, very, very cool. In terms of accessories, they do come with a set of the WWE or WWF uh, Tag Team Championship belts. Uh, I'll just brought, uh, brought in here one of the ones that was released in a two-pack. You can see that the color difference on the classic superstars is much nicer um, really, really uh, glad they included these belts uh, and a really big step up just of the standard two-pack uh, belts that uh, Jax used to release. So that's a really, really cool accessory and I'm glad they included that. Okay, now on to the Legion of Doom or the Road Warriors, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we'll start with Animal. A really, really nice looking uh figure always loved the uh, the face paint uh, and the look of this guy uh, I remember uh, growing up watching wrestling uh, and when I first started to get into I was always a, a WCW fan growing up that's what uh, cousins and stuff used to always watch and used to have the video game and all that sort of stuff and uh, when I started watching WWE uh, I remember seeing these guys come out and um, I was like uh, you know pretty cool 
And then um, I didn't realise, obviously, that uh, Hawk had passed away. I remember seeing Animal come out and uh, wondering where, where obviously Hawk was. And then in 2004, five, when he returned um, and teamed up with Heidenreich, which I will uh, give a, a review for you guys of the uh, the Legion of Doom or the Road Warrior Heidenreich as well. So uh, we'll have the the full set here. But nice detail on the face. He does come with the shoulder pads, which are a lot nicer looking than the Mattel ones. And that was one of the main reasons I um, decided to keep these guys as opposed to getting the uh, the Mattel. They are pretty much just a soft soft rubber, so it does uh, does come off pretty easily, which is good. Now, one of the things I really like about this set is that uh, jacks are renowned for using the same parts over and over again. And a classic example of that is you can see on the arms where they're supposed to have the black wrist tape um, that was actually just a, a mold that they either painted or they didn't. But one of the things I really like is that they've got a completely different body for Hawk and Animal. Uh, Hawk obviously being a little bit leaner than Animal, Animal being uh, the bigger guy uh, of the tag team. It's nice that they at least gave them uh, different body looks and uh, I think that certainly works well, even though the scaling probably uh, isn't ideal. One thing that I think is really interesting too, if I bring it in here, the uh, Great American Bash uh, Animal, you can see has a completely different body again to the um, the classic superstars. You can see obviously he's clearly uh, quite a bit fatter, uh, which makes sense, and it, it's a lot more accurate to how he, uh, how he was at that stage of his career. Um, so hopefully I have a review for that at some point for you guys. Now, in terms of articulation for both figures, it's the standard Jack's articulation. So ball jointed head, ball jointed arms, swivel in the bicep, bend at the elbow, swivel in the wrist, and then uh, swivel in the hand as well. Swivel waist, Moving down, nice shot of the uh, the side there of the, the trunks, which is pretty cool. Um, legs move uh, forward and back, bend at the knee, and then um, uh, up and down at the ankle as well. So it's pretty much your standard um, level of articulation, pretty much the same that you would get in, uh, in the Mattel figures. Um, not the elites, obviously, but um, in, in the basic line. I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look at Hawk's face. Again, I really don't like um, open mouth figures. This one is an exception, I think, um, just because it is Hawk. He was the uh, probably the crazier of the two, at least in real life. Uh, great detail on the face paint. One of the things I love about Jax is they always nailed the uh, the faces of their figures. I'll bring in uh, Animal just for comparison. You can see, obviously, the, the Mohawk and then uh, the the shave in the middle for um, Hawk there. One of the things just watching the documentary in the background there is that uh, the idea was that you could plug them plug them in, um, which I think is, is really cool. And you don't see that level of detail put into uh, a lot of tag teams these days. Currently, the division's not that great. Um, the TNA division uh, is doing quite well with the Hardys, obviously. Uh, it did have the Dudleys and... Uh, things like that, but uh, hopefully it's starting to get back. At the moment, currently, the New Day and uh, Tyson and Cesaro are uh, doing a really good job. Shame uh, that the Ascension tried to um, copy these guys, and I know the Ascension got a lot of criticism, and, and people didn't like it, and they're not the Road Warriors, and uh, all this sort of stuff, but to me, it was a really good, uh, you know, cover band tag team, if that makes sense. You know that they're not the genuine article. They're slightly different, but they've got a similar gimmick. And you've got to remember, for argument's sake, um, for me, I didn't get to see the Road Warriors in their prime. I saw Heidenreich and Animal. But it was still an awesome experience that as a kid I really enjoyed. So for the younger audience going up, the Ascension was kind of their equivalent of the, the Road Warriors. And it's a shame that uh, now they're certainly off TV, and I, I think they've... Uh, pretty much can that act, but uh, it is a shame that I got so much criticism, just because I think people failed to realise the um, the benefit that that team would have had, uh, and still had some great matches against uh, my favourite team of all time, the New Age Outlaws. Now, just for comparison, I've got the Mattel Wyatt Family 2-pack, just to compare uh, how the figures go uh, against um, more modern Mattel figures. 
One of the biggest criticisms with jacks and something that people are very concerned about is whether their uh, old jacks figures will fit in with the newer Mattel ones. As you can see, I think absolutely they can. You can see in terms of scaling, Mattel is a lot better. But you look at um, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, uh, they're both taller than um, the Road Warriors, which means they're not going to be out of scale. They're not going to be super big compared to some of the other figures you might have in your collection, which is really good because it means you can use these guys. Um, if I end up picking the, up the, the, the Mattel version, I will review it for you guys. I'm leaning towards no, just because I love the detail on the Jax versions. I think they're really cool. Uh, I love the blue over the red, and uh, I know they didn't wear it much, but I'm just a, a bigger fan of this attire. Uh, so if you're a fan of the Road Warriors or the Legion of Doom, uh, absolutely, I think these are the definitive Road Warrior figures that uh, you want to be picking up. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this review on the WWE Jax Classic Superstars, Hawk and Animal.